You know, when you install Windows 11 and you begin to use your device for a very, very long time, definitely you're going, you're going to encounter a problem or an issue with either your hardware, software, or your device that crashes sometimes or it does not respond. Well, Windows 11 have an inbuilt um, troubleshooter that can actually allow you to troubleshoot your device. For example, if I just type troubleshoot, shoot you can see we have the troubleshoot settings you say troubleshoot other problems so let's just click on that so by clicking troubleshoot other problems you can see it gives you know it's going to give us a lot of options which we can troubleshoot for example you can troubleshoot audio problems printer windows updates for example we have other bluetooth camera connection and even just let's scroll down you can see we have recording audio shared folders so if for example let me say i want to actually troubleshoot the network adapter if you click on that you can see it's going to detect the problem and let me just cancel that and let me just sc scroll up and if i click run on this printer it's also going to detect to see if there's a problem with the printer so it's going to check this polar service to so check everything and see if the printer is the default printer you can see it says mickey printer one not the default printer may, might allow application to print to read then if that is a problem you can just apply apply the apply the fix so it's going to actually help you solve that issue without you actually just clicking step by so you can see it says one note is it's not the default printer but it's, it's now the default printer do you want to fix your problem i'm going to say yes and that is it so now we can go to view details information to get to get more details info about this issue it says make printer one note the default printer you can see say completed and now our problem is fixed so that is how you can actually go and actually go about and try to fix your problem on a windows 11 device and also if you are if you begin to use your device often sometimes some programs may crash for example um microsoft edge or apl application you are trying to use may also crash or some programs may even crash behind the scene without you even knowing so if i go to my start menu and i enter the following report it's, it says view all problems reports so when i click on that so it's going to show me all the problem reports that have been recorded on my device you can see it says report send so when i click on let me just double click on that so it's going to give me some details information about the application as microsoft edge update probably crashed during updating you can see it says source install error and definitely if you have been using, using this device for a very long time you're going to get a list of information or a list of applications that have crashed or that are having issues on your device and also to be able to monitor when it, you are having some specific issue on your device or serious issue on your device what you can also use is event viewer so if i go to my just right click and if i right click you can actually check here you can see i'm going to see the event viewer but at the same time if you go to your start menu if i go to my start menu for example or just click on my search and i enter event you can see we can also see the event viewer so what is actually what does the event viewer does for you the event viewer actually record every single information every click you do on your device is being recorded on the event viewer so the time you log on, on your device and the time you log out of your device is being recorded and even every single update that took place on your device every single activity you perform on your device is being recorded on you in event viewer so if i go to windows log for example if i go to applications you can see the different applications that actually for example i did a defrag the fragmentation took place actually this was probably an opt an uh, auto automated auto uh, optimization that took place in this device so if i scroll down you can see a lot of information about what took place um on this device and if i go to security security is actually going to tell you about the audit success and probably if there are failures if you try to log on to this device and it fails since an account was successfully logged on 
and also definitely when you log off it's also going to display on this device but definitely it's going to be a success because when you log on and log off it's not going to be um, seen as a failure but only when someone tries to log on to your device and it fails it's going to be registered as a failure and if I go to setup, you can see we don't have more information about setup. So actually some changes that took place on your device. And also for the system, you can see here we have a lot of information about um, what took place on your device. And also, so we have a lot, a lot of warning. Let me just go down to see if we have some other information than just the warning. Okay, here you can see we have, for example, I have an error message here. It says the server did not register with a DCOM within the required timeout. Well, if you see something like this with the red, which is showing red, it's not, it does not actually cause, there's not any cause for alarm because you're going to be seeing a lot of errors information. I can actually just go and filter, I can actually filter the current log and say, well, I want to only show me just the criticals and error and I'll click OK. And you can see we're going to be seeing only the error message. So we can decide to actually just right click again and then we can actually clear the filter and mind you we can also clear the log for example i can decide to clear all the log it says do you want to save and clear i just want to clear all the save it and now all our log has been cleared so we be very very careful before you clear a log because when you clear your log you may not be able to go back again to assess information on that specific issue that took place on your device and also if i go to let me just click on my windows log and i go to action you see we can actually create a custom view we can actually import a custom view or i can decide it to let me just right click uh let me let me see if i right click there okay here there we go so if i right click there i can actually save all events as for example you can save your event and then export it or send it to someone to help, help you investigate this issue. I work as an IT system administrator. And if someone have issues sometimes with that device and they see that device, so we actually sometimes, if we could not access that device, we ask them to send us to save a log of that device, the event viewer, and send it to us through the mail or drop it on a shared folder. And then we can actually collect that log file and then try to view and see if we can found, find any um root cause of that issue so it's very very important that your um, event viewer is actually running and you should be careful before you clear the log of your event viewer so let me just close that and also close the event viewer and then our problem details as well and talking about this this is about troubleshooting backup and recovery you know if you're working with your device sometimes it is very very important that you back up your information so because microsoft always advise you not to back up your you back up your info or back up your information on the same device you are using because if something could go goes goes wrong with that device then all your backup is gone so you backing up all your information on the same device you are using is definitely not a backup because then you are just saving your file on the same device if you want to even create a backup you will not even have the opportunity to create a backup on your own device so if for example i go to my start menu and i enter backup you can see it says backup and sync your settings so now let's click it and see what happens now you can see that i'm seeing my onedrive onedrive folder syncing well microsoft actually advise that all your information should be back up to OneDrive. That is why when you configure OneDrive on your device, let me go to File Explorer, and this is my OneDrive. You can see that Microsoft made it actually now necessary and very, very in all Windows 11 device. If you configure OneDrive for the first time, you can see that your desktop document and pictures will begin to back up automatically without you doing nothing about it why because microsoft wants to make sure that all your info goes to the cloud so when something goes wrong with this device and i log on to another device i just need to configure one drive on that device and all my information will be restored back to me without me losing any single information so that is why if you go to your backup windows backup you will see that there's a suggestion of one drive folder syncing because i've already configured one drive on this device so it's going to actually 
just tell me use OneDrive as the which is actually one of the best options to back up your folder because you can now access your folder from any location access your backup file from any location from anywhere in the world any device your mobile the mobile telephone tablet or even your mac device but if what you can also do again is also if i go to my start menu and i enter the following history you can see we have file history so what is file history at this moment the file history is actually turned off file history is when you for example you you accidentally delete a file you can go back to that folder and then try to recover the history of that folder probably maybe the file the folder the file was edited like you have a word document which you accidentally delete on a very very important excel document you can go back to that folder and then check back the history of the folder probably before that file was deleted and then restore that file back again to your device so let me try to turn this on you can see it takes some seconds but i said the file history is now on so but it says do you want to run now i can decide to just say okay i want to run it now file history is saving copies of your file so now it's not saving copies of my file so if something goes wrong definitely i should be able to actually restore my file so let me just close the file history explorer and also let me just close this settings and sometimes your device may have a very very serious issue and the only option you have is actually reset that device to um to reset that device for all the data to be deleted so if i go to my start menu and i hit and i just type reset you can see we have the option called reset this pc so if i click on that you can see it's, i have the option to fix problem without resetting your pc or we can reset this pc or we can actually go to the advanced startup what happens when you go to advanced startup is the following so when i click restart now by restarting my device it's going to take me to the advanced startup whereby i will have different options to actually repair my device so when i click reset pc you can see it says keep my files or remove everything i can decide to say remove the apps and settings but keep your personal files or remove all your personal files apps and settings so we can go for the first option so it's trying to say okay this won't take long so it's trying to see what you can actually restore um what can be actually be removed and what can stay so it's going to actually check your device and review okay now we, you can see it says how will how would you like to reinstall windows we can use the cloud or a local Restore windows from this device cloud download can use more than four gigabytes of data so we can decide to say okay let's go for the cloud restore apps and settings which came with this pc download and restore windows cloud download can use more than four gigab four gigabytes of data so probably you, have, you want to do this when you have like access to the internet and not you're using your mobile shared network because it may cost you a lot of data because all the necessary information you need to reset your device will be downloaded from the cloud so now we can now click next next and then our device will be reset and definitely we are um, with, with uh, maybe for, for example what went wrong Will now be reconfigured and you will start using your device without any issue so let me cancel that and lastly if for example you want to actually back up your device uh, without actually backing up your, your your files to one drive if i go to my start let me just go to search and then type control let me go to the control panel from the control panel we want to actually go to a backup system what you need to do is i can just go to my search and then enter let me just enter backup here you can see it says backup and restore windows 7 of your files backup in windows 7 so it says we can actually just click on that and it says backup or restore your files windows backup has not been set up we can decide to actually set a windows 
backup on this device. You can see it's a starting Windows backup. But mind you, you will need an external disk for you to be able to back up your device. Here we go. You can, for example, I can actually select the F drive. You see, this device does not have enough space to store a system image. Well, you want to actually, for example, have an external hard disk, which is more than, for example, more than the the, the C drive of your disk or your image file because if not, you're going to receive an error message. Then if you, if you selected the, the standard disk, you now click next, next to actually back up your files.